Was he in there? Yes. Is that yours? Let me get a shot of him. I saw him walking across there a minute ago. He looks like he's doing all right. I don't know. Which he's apartment? Kimberly Holder. Kimberly, what is his last name? Holder. H O L D E R. Kim, tell me what happened. Well, we were sleeping. It was about 12:30, and um, my friend shakes me, waking me up, saying that the apartment's full of smoke, and sure enough, it was. Smoke alarms going off? No, smoke alarms weren't going off yet. What? But, How's the cat doing, all right? I think he's okay. I have six more that are trapped. Inside the apartment? Yeah. Hmm. I got two out so far. All right. Damn it.
Okay, sir. First of all, your name and title? Joseph Maroney, Firefighter, Champions Fire Department. Can you spell your last name? M-A-R-R-O-N-I. Okay, tell me what you had tonight. Tonight at 1218, we had a light structure incident, which means we dispatched a truck and an engine. Upon entering the structure, it quickly upgraded at uh, 1222 to a box alarm. Upon uh, a few minutes into the call, we discovered we had a water supply issue with our first hydrant close into the building. We had to establish water supply from outside the structure, which complicated water supply issues, delayed it slightly. The age of the building added to the situation. Fire marshals are currently en route. So far, we don't have a determination of nature and cause. How many, how many units were on that building? Right now, I don't have that information. Okay. So several residents displaced. What was the, I mean, it's an old building, kind of common attic, common floor. What, kind of tell us about that a little bit. There was a void in the very center of the structure, dividing the apartments on the A side and the C side that ran top to bottom, front to back. And basically we had four lines deployed, two on each side. And we were pushing it back and forth between floors front to back, side to side, chasing it until they were able to get ahead of it, make a stop, and overhaul has uh, shown that there's no more extension. So approximately three-fourths of the building we had involvement, the rest of it was saved. So basically, besides the floor and the uh, ceiling with the common joists, you also had the almost like a chaseway back behind, between the two, the front and back apartment? That's correct. It was about a one-foot wide chase, uh, top to bottom for the full length of the building that uh, hampered this from being tapped out earlier. And something this, this old, no sprinkler system, no uh, firewalls, no nothing. That's correct. That made things very complicated. Okay. We had a lot of units, a lot of people put in a lot of hard work to get this fire under control. How many alarms? This went to a third alarm. you know which department you have out here? We had Cypress Creek, we had Klein, we had uh, Ponderosa. Um, New York. We also had Little York, yes. We had a lot of units from the area okay. there. I believe they had, uh, East Tex was even on the third alarm and they didn't quite make it to the scene. Okay. We turned them around. Any injuries? No injuries reported. Uh, we do have uh, reports of a few uh, feline fatalities at this time. And that's now about what it. about uh, that type of roof? It's a tar roof. I noticed most of the guys that were in there come out, they're kind of, your gear's pretty much covered in tar. Yes, it was a tar roof, flat roof. We had a situation where we couldn't get anybody on top of the structure, put anybody's lives in danger with a roof like that. So that was out of play immediately. All righty, appreciate it.
Are you been looking for the whole fire? What's going to be out there? Um, only one is dead, but the other seven right now are alive, and unfortunately, we lost my best friend's dog too. The cats are doing like a good friend. The cats are doing okay right now. One of them we just found her. Um, she's on some oxygen, but hopefully she'll pull through. The oxygen seems to be helping quite a bit. The oxygen seems to be helping, yes. Okay. Alright, thanks. Yeah. Two, two hours worth of bottles.